Right, after a bit of a stop and start, because I had to go find my book, and I forgot what this range of miniatures was for. For it's Inquisitor, yes. Games Workshop's rather silly venture into larger models. Yes, why they didn't stick to the other size, I've no idea, but... And, um, what can I say? For a failed experiment, yeah. What, yeah, well, what can I say? Yes, a failed experiment, and watch a man who still collected it back in the day. And uh, issue one, and sadly, where the rest of my issues have all disappeared to, well, I have a strong feeling I know where they are. And I don't think I'm ever going to see them again. And it's, yeah, it's very sad. Very sad. But, as you can see, these are all the figures that I painted at the time. And, um, yeah, G-Dub did a, uh, I think in the city, or it might have been Garden City. It might have been Garden City, I think. The store had a, do a diorama. Um... And, of course, I did mine based around, uh, I think it's Joseph. So, had him sitting there preaching with his, with his book. Which, uh, this is before I found fine pens. So it's all done by paintbrush. Yeah, as you can see, a very dodgy job. Not my best work, I'm afraid. Using War Master f stuff, I think. Yeah. So anyway, that was just a, a side a side project that they had that I that I did. So yeah. But as for the figures, of course, Eisenhorn would have to be my favourite model, and I think as a figure, he's certainly my favourite. So, yes, of course my hands. Yeah, look, alright, so my hand's going to be everywhere in this video. But as you can see, he's, he's quite nice. You know, he'll never disappear. He'll always be with me. But hopefully the sound of flushing toilets don't appear in this. But who knows. So there was him, there was... There was this chap, it didn't turn out too badly. Look, I'm not even going to remember their names, but uh, I'll just show you them. This is another one of the Inquisitors, I, uh, I liked him. He was a nice bit of scroll work. But yeah. So that was him. Then there were the one the chap in his, in his power armor. So he was not too bad a model, as you can see. Then there was the Death Guard, who I decided I'd paint up as a as a dodgy space wolf. I have no idea what possessed me to do that because personally I dislike space wolves immensely. And uh, I think it may have been due to the fact that the uh, the decal was the only thing I could get hold of that would suit that. Um, would suit that shoulder pad. But yeah, that's what I did. I thought, oh yeah. Why not? Then we had the uh, this pair came as a pair from memory, so uh, they turned out oh yeah, rather shoddy work on my behalf. But you know they're supposed to be security security people, so good enough to. To work with the cyber dog. So 
uh, cyber doggy then as I said here's a better version of uh, love the keys the keys were awesome yeah they were uh, nice you could really do something with the faces not that I'm a face man I'm afraid I've uh, fail rather dismally at that and there's the mutant so Mr. Uh, Mr. Mutant I think I was using a satin gloss um, which I'm really not too happy with now I think coming to think of it but the figures have survived so I really can't complain and he had his little two-headed mutant rat so yeah they'll, they'll stick around forever then there were the twin assassins so again fairly average job on these ones I don't think I was really happy really happy with them so you can see nothing to write home about I'm sorry so then there was the uh, Damon host and I don't think I did a good job on that one I think a few people had a few words to say about the skin tone but, but yes it's a nice model I needed something that would contrast contrast and uh, I thought that was the best that I could get it worked out well then uh, arcoflagellant yeah it's an interesting model at the time I can't say I was really happy all those bits and bobs that stuck out of it were a pain in the ass to stick in and I think there's quite a few holes left in the model that didn't quite turn out but yeah so that was that and then the last one uh, that I think had to come by mail order was and I think I was using him at one stage which is why he's got a green around the base might have been using him as a demon prince for 40k and uh, I think he might eventually go for the dip I don't know not impressed but hey look it's painted and it's done so there you go to good people that is my my collection of inquisitor tour gw's less than impressive attempt at a i guess a role play come yeah I don't know what it was, but it wasn't very well executed in my opinion. So anyway, look, thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, signing off, the Honourable John.